epitope mapping defines the binding site of your antibody on the antigen target. It can help you understand how your antibody works. And importantly, it can help you protect your potential antibody drug in patents, a key aspect when looking for a partner to commercialize your antibody. Surprisingly, less than 10% of the filed antibody patent applications in 2019 mentions epitope mapping. There are different types of epitopes. Linear epitopes harbor binding residues that are contained within a linear stretch. Conformational epitopes require a typical structural element for recognition. And in discontinuous epitopes, parts that are separated in sequence come together structurally to form the full epitope. The majority of epitopes are discontinuous. Knowing that your epitope is discontinuous may increase your chances of being successful in arguing inventive step. In general, claims to antibodies directed to novel epitopes from known targets have a higher chance of being approved if they are discontinuous rather than simple linear epitopes. From an IP perspective, epitope mapping is further important for obtaining freedom to operate over patterns covering antibodies against the same target and in getting broader antibody claims approved. If you look at case law in the US, for instance at the Biogen versus GlaxoSmithKline case, antibody claims that had been granted broadly to a target were later limited by the courts as directed to a specific epitope only. This shows the importance of epitope mapping for arguing novelty of and obtaining freedom to operate for your own antibody. In the majority of European patents published in 2019, PEPSCAN was the epitope mapping company of choice. To learn more about what epitope mapping can do for you, please contact us.